Good morning, traders. This is Frank Chowley with RJO Futures in Chicago, coming to you on Thursday morning, January 24th, with your grain market morning commentary. Currently, grains are trading a little lower across the board. We have corn four to six cents lower right now, soybeans about 13 to 14 cents lower, and the wheat's about six or seven cents lower. Um, I want to remind you real quick, the weekly export sales is delayed until tomorrow because of the holiday this week. And, you know, with these markets trading a little lower, you, you kind of left scratching your head and looking for an explanation. And uh, you could take your pick here. You know, we got turnaround Tuesday yesterday. We have um, a market with overblock conditions. We have a little bit of uh, improving weather conditions in South America. We got some supply from South America hitting the pipeline. You take your pick, but the bottom line is, this market, grain market that is, had a nice uh, rally um, beginning with the crop report uh, in early January. And what happens is um, markets lose momentum. We had a big move up, we did some sideways. The market's waiting for some fresh data, some news to keep the market moving in that upward direction. Well, we just kind of ran out of news, I guess. and. Uh, you know, the market has to break out of that range. We can't go sideways forever. So right now we're just doing a little back and fill. I don't think anything's really changed here. Look, the supplies are tight, um, especially when you talk about soybeans, we have very good demand. The demand is not quite as robust in the corn, but there is a, a uncomfortably tight supply there. So again, nothing's really changed here. Longer term, at least for the old crop, I think prices are likely to move higher. We'll find some support in here somewhere. Um, March corn is somewhere around 715, 716 right now. I think it might get a little bit cheaper. I don't think we go all the way down to $7, but maybe 710, 712, we start to find some support. Uh, soybeans around that 1425 uh, or so area. The market may dip to uh, 1412, 1416, find some support down there. Wheat. Um, is in the uh, 770, 765 range. Um, wheat, I think, is uh, a market that is likely um, to find support first. The price between, the difference in the price between wheat and corn, I think, has gotten too narrow. Feed demand picks up. Um, they're going to switch to wheat as opposed to corn. And I, I think that uh, wheat has a lot of upside potential from here. I'd like to talk to you about some of these strategies. I talk about the wheat and corn spread all the time. Feel free to give me a call. Shoot me an email. Either way, whatever is easier for you. My number is 800-826-4124. And as always, remember that trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Thank you.